Hi guys, my name is Emily, and to follow up my fairly negative review of me, Earl and the Dying Girl, which I absolutely hated, is my review of The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan, which I absolutely loved. I ordered these two books at the same time. They're kind of yellow and they, they match nicely. Um, I posted a picture of Twitter with them together. And as much as I hated Me, Earl and the Dying Girl, I loved The Opposite of Loneliness. So Marina Keegan is a fantastic young person who is unfortunately deceased. She is someone that I feel like would have been someone to watch in the literary world. Her short stories, her works of fiction are so beautiful and touching and funny. Short stories don't always sit well with me, like I find them hit and miss, but Marina Keegan's were so relatable. One of the professors described her writing as being young, like a lot of young people write short stories and they're not about being young, they're trying to sound older than they are, beyond their experience, but Keegan wrote within her experience and it felt very much like a university experience and it felt so intimate and personal. I read it and I was just devastated that there will not be more from Marina Keegan because um, her writing is fantastic. So the first part of the book is a collection of short stories. The second part are some nonfiction essays which are equally hilarious and awesome. One of the essays uh, in the nonfiction part of the book that really stood out to me was the essay about inheriting her grandmother's car and how that car became a part of her identity as a young person and how so much of her memories and stuff were attached to this car as like a tangible thing. Like she didn't have a scrapbook, she had the car and the car was full of these moments and memories and how when she cleaned out the car and passed it on to her brother, how that felt. And that was really, it really sat with me and it's something that I, I really remember and I like about the story and I thought about my own car and how when I cleaned my car out this spring how much crap had accumulated in it and um, it was really good. It's hard to describe a book, like a collected book of things, like without telling you about each thing, but I would highly recommend this just as an overall experience of reading it if you are young, if you've been to university, if you are going to university. I feel like you will really like this and you will really relate to this and the feelings of being young and uncertain and hopeful. This was fantastic. This is probably in my top five books of the year thus far and I believe I gave this five out of five stars on Goodreads because I really, really enjoyed this. If you have read The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know which short stories stuck out in your mind or which essays stuck out in your mind. What did you like about this book? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!